Hey everyone, my name is Justin from justicegood.com and in this video I'm going to share five quick tips to help you improve your workflow in Photoshop. So let's say you're working with a document with a lot of different layers in it. Now before when I wanted to find a specific layer, I'd go through and unhide things and hide them till I see which layer I was working with. But if you actually just have your move tool selected and you hold command, you can just command click and you'll see that Photoshop will automatically switch to whatever layer you click on. So this is a lot easier way to find a certain layer in a large document. You can also hold shift and command to select two different layers at the same time or multiple layers. That way you can move around multiple objects at once. Another quick tip when it comes to finding a layer is you could actually search layers by their name or the effect on them. So if you search by name, let's say I want to find the text layer where it says new videos. I can just type in new videos and it'll automatically filter out the text layers that are named that. So now I can change it to whatever I want and I don't have to dig through the large file so I could edit just one layer. Another quick tip if you're working with multiple images or multiple files open at once is you can head over to Window, Arrange, and you could arrange everything in different ways. So let's say I want to compare everything at once. I can tile them all vertically. Now I can switch between them and drag layers to and from. Or I can go to Window, Arrange, Consolidate All to Tabs. And that'll take everything and put it back into tabs for me. So that's a quick way to get everything that you have open on the screen at one time. Another tip when it comes to the view is let's say I zoomed out really far on a certain document because I was transforming something or I was grabbing something way out of the edge and instead of zooming back in and you can't really get to 100% perfectly because it doesn't snap, if I just press Command 1, Photoshop will automatically get things to 100%. So that's just a shortcut for view 100%. Also when it comes to view, if you just press F on the keyboard, you can shuffle between full screen mode, document preview, or normal mode. So that's another quick tip if you're trying to get some more space or if you're trying to see what it would look like on a black background. So I think that's actually five quick tips like it says in the title, but if you stuck around this far, let's give you two bonus tips. So when you're working with the brush tool in Photoshop, you can actually just use the bracket keys on your keyboard to increase and decrease the size quickly so you could work quicker. Also, if you have the polygonal lasso tool or any lasso tool and you're making a selection, normally you'll be on add to selection mode here. So any further selections that I made will just add to my current selection. But if you want to chop off some parts of the selection without switching back and forth between add and subtract from selection, you can actually just hold option on your keyboard for anything you're trying to subtract and then let go and it'll be back onto plus. So you can add and make cutouts more efficiently. So that's five quick tips plus a couple bonus tips for you. If you enjoyed this video, definitely subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and tips. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.